Jesus Youth Presents Christ is more close to you. Hosanna to the King of Kings, Hosanna. Hosanna. You are there in the bread and wine which is offered at the table as the work of human hands. All your offerings are also there. The church is going to pray to God the Father to send the Holy Spirit upon the bread and wine. She invites the Holy Spirit to transform the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. The Holy Spirit will also transform each one of us who are partaking in this Mass as nourishment for other human beings. You too will become the bread which is to be blessed, broken and given away in service to others in all walks of life. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here. Now the bread and wine are going to be transformed into the body and blood of Christ. The great sacrifice of Calvary repeats itself, sacramentally and in reality, in body and blood, down through generations. The bruised and bleeding body of Christ will be raised up in front of you. All those who participate in this Holy Mass will be drawn to the moments of Christ's death on Calvary. You should look at Him. Meditate upon His torn flesh and draining precious blood. You will find healing in His wounds salvation in his death. Let your overflowing heart save us. Lord, I love you, adore you, and I trust in you. I ask pardon for those who don't love you, adore you, and trust in you. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it 
to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me your lord is crucified in front of you to redeem you from your sins your lord has risen from the dead so that you can conquer death which you deserved for your sins your lord will come again to give you everlasting life which is your reward after the victory over death this should be your faith live by that faith the mystery of faith The church is getting ready to thank God the Father for the gift of his son's sacrifice which has reconciled us to him. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit the priest will pray for the pilgrim church on earth to be filled with god's love by trusting in the merits of his passion Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Paul our bishop and all the clergy This mass will also be offered for all those who are in the suffering church Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face church will uphold the sacrifice of christ to glorify god with the heavenly victorious church have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ 
Now, you are entering into a very special time to give thanks for all the good things that were showered on you. It is a praise and thanksgiving moment given to God in the name of all created things. To do this, Christ helps us in person with all His glory in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All the promises of God have been fulfilled in Christ. So you should say Amen to God's glory through Him. God is continuing His creation and sanctification through Jesus. Church glorifies God for all these through His Son's birth, death and resurrection. This happens in all masses when you sing the great Amen with the church. You acknowledge all this and you seal your priesthood you received in your baptism. God's people joins with the priest to offer the sacrifice to God through this Amen. This is the time for you to make the maximum adoration and thanksgiving and that too, only through Christ our Lord by singing the great Amen. Through Him, with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.